what are deltas what are the conditions in the development of delta and what is the structure of the delta and what are the types of delta so delta could be an important question for you what are deltas deltas are essentially like okay, depositional features they are triangular in shape at the mouth of the river or where the river meets the sea deltas are typically depositions of very very fine sediments and generally deltas are common okay along uh, areas that that have uh, a non fluctuating sea level so they are features of neutral coastlines so in two or three lines what are deltas now conditions for delta okay two three conditions hain there must be enormous amount of sediments the river should be large and the coastline should be a stable coastline and very importantly the slope the slope at the coast should be gentle and importantly the sediments should be medium sized not very very fine Sed sediment should have medium texture if they are large the sediments will not get effectively transported if they are very very fine the sediments will enter the sea and will diffuse into the open waters so they should be medium textured sediments not too coarse and not too fine of course may variations hoga but ye conditions mein okay deltas are formed structure of the delta delta is three dimensional wedge is like a triangular wedge three dimensional wedge of deposition and we can identify three layers there is a, a top set there is an intermediate set and there is a bottom set there are three layers the top set the intermediate set and the bottom set top set is also called as the fore set the top set is the finest finest sediments are the top set okay and the bottom set has relatively coarser sediments okay and uh, finally the types of delta types of delta may the most common is arcuate delta the arcuate deltas are the most common we have a river the delta looks like an arc like this it looks like an arc arcuate then types also include bird foot delta where the rivers okay will deposit these kind of elongated ones and bird foot is more common for very fine sediments example of bird foot delta is mississippi and the third one is the estuarine deltas estuarine deltas they are a features where river has submerged and it ultimately becomes a part of the coastline estuaries are very important for you know now ports there are areas of uh, okay biodiversity okay these areas okay are important ecologically some of these can also have mangroves and so on so arcuate deltas most common ganga ka arcuate hai river nile ka arcuate hai river niger any random river you pick up it is arcuate like an arc ye arc hai bird foot delta has like fingers the like the feet of a bird the fingers bird foot delta and estuarine delta okay the river okay course has submerged rise of sea level has some rise of sea level so estuarine deltas so very straight write up agar aapko dekhna hai page number 432 page 432 and 433 and uh, uh, sundarbans is also arcuate sundarbans is also arcuate not typically delta delta finger delta jo hai the almost all books mention mississippi as finger delta and uh, conclusion mein do write about the importance deltas ke important ecological hai a uh, cuspid cuspid is not very really, very really common it looks something like this the cuspid delta looks something like this it's not a very common form you can mention and you can move on so keep it to arcuate deltas bird foot deltas 
and your estuary deltas, more or less. And conclusion, talk about importance. Estuary delta where the river has submerged. So most of the uh, coastline along the western coast of India is all estuary. Okay, you talk about uh, uh, Saravati River, uh, Nitravati River, you talk about Zwari River, you talk about Narmada, Tapi, all of them are estuary. And uh, importance may keep the importance as ecological, they're important, okay, biodiversity, their areas of ocean productivity, although not very high, okay, level of variety here. Like you can talk about estuaries are important for ports, okay, and so on. So significance importance may finish the answer. Okay, so we have done what are river valleys, the profile of the river valleys, okay, and how are they formed. Then we moved on towards discussing, okay, waterfalls, the type of waterfall examples, and the third discussion was on deltas. Fourth delta, one of you mentioned was cuspate. C-U-S-P-A-T-E. Cuspate delta. We do not need so much of detailing. Deco, uh, why are we doing these questions? These questions are 10 marker and 15 marker. Okay? Isme zada elaboration nahi karna hai. If I do not do at all, these are good easy questions which you can lose marks on. So just a quick touch for a sense of completion. These sub questions mein zyada time dena nahi hai. One page mein, okay, with some diagram examples, be through with it. Don't get into too much of details while discussing these kind of topics.